So today we're going to again talk about distributed property and you use the distributed property uh, later on when you have to solve equations and uh, so let's get started. First problem we have is 4 times x minus 6. Now I want to rewrite this to show that you have three different terms. You have a 4, and then in parentheses you have an x, and you have a minus 6. What we want to do, we want to take this 4 that's on the outside and multiply it times the x, and then multiply it times the negative 6. What, what this really means is that you have 4 of these, 4 x minus 6's. And and let me let me show you by what I mean by that. I have you have x minus six plus x minus six plus x minus six plus x minus six. You have four of them. One, two, three, four. And what you're doing instead of having to write all this stuff out and end up with one, two, three, four x and negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12, negative 12 plus negative 6 is negative 18, and negative 18 plus 6 is negative 24. Instead of writing all this out, we have something called a distributed property. And we're going to, we're going to take this 4, and we're going to multiply it times the x, and that's going to give us 4x, and we're going to take the 4 and we're going to multiply it by the negative 6 which is negative 24. As you can see you have the you have the same answer except this is the long way this is what this actually means and this is the shortcut way that we can do this instead of having to write all this out. Okay? Let's try another one. And then I'll let you try one. So we have 6 and in parentheses, we have x, and we have a plus 2. So I'm going to take the 6 and multiply it times the x and get 6x. And take the 6 and multiply it times the plus 2, and that's going to give me plus 12. Okay? You try 1. I want you to try 8 times x plus Eight. If you'll please pause the video while you work this problem out, I'd appreciate it. Okay, welcome back. We have 8 times x plus 8. I'm going to multiply my 8 times my x. Well, you should have. 8 times x is 8x. And 8 times 8 is 64. And this is the answer that you should have ended up with. Okay, let's work another one. Here I have negative 5. I, I like using the colors um, because that allows you to see exactly what you're multiplying by x minus 8. Now I'm going to take the negative 5 and multiply it times x, which is negative 5x. And I'm going to take the negative 5 and multiply it by negative 8. Negative 5 times negative 8 is a positive 40. So here's your final answer. And if you'll please work 1, please. If you'll pause the video. Okay, welcome back. You have negative 2 
times x minus 3. I'm going to multiply my negative 2 times my x and get negative 2x. And then I'm going to multiply my negative 2 times negative 3, which is positive 6. And you should have ended up with negative 2x plus 6. I'd like you to try this problem now on your own. If you'll please pause the video. Okay, welcome back. We have negative 2 times, this time we have a negative x plus 3. This, this is not difficult. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take a negative 2 and multiply it times negative x. Well, we know negative 2 times negative x is a positive 2x. We're going to take negative 2 and multiply it times 3. And negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. six. Oops. Negative, let me rewrite that, 2x minus 6. Sorry about that. And the last one. If you'll please work this one and pause your pause the video while you work it, please. Okay, welcome back. We have negative seven times negative x minus three. I'm going to multiply my negative 7 times my negative x, and that's going to give me a positive 7x. I'm going to multiply my negative 7 times negative 3, and that's going to give me a positive 21. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Um, and if you have any suggestions or for future videos, please email me at Math with Moon at gmail.com and um, I will be more than happy to make those videos and you have a great day. Bye.